This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keyshot. Okay, now that we have that, let's focus on the front of the helmet, the uh, nose guard, if you will. And for that, I'll start with a simple plug on plane. I'm going to hit W if I can get hold of it. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. We're going to push it down. Uh, let's see. We're going to set subdivision level to 1 for now. That should be fine. And then we're going to hit R to scale it. And we're going to hit E to rotate it and hold down J and flip it upright like so. Let's go back one. There we go. W, push that up, push that out. And let's focus on this to start with. So we want an opening for the eyes, obviously. I'm just going to start to shape this a little bit. Uh, let's actually go in and add some edge loops first. Let's set that to three. And we'll put in three like this and three like this. Q on a keyboard. We're going to take the whole thing. Let's hit R and kind of pull that out. Then we're going to right click the vertex. I want these ends to be quite high. So hit W, move that up. And let's see, I'll take these two and push them quite down to create that opening. And then on the sides, we'll take this and this, push that up quite a bit, repeat again, push up and repeat. And one more time and push that up. Now in the center, we want a point pointing down. So we'll do that, something like so. And then let's have a look. Let's see what we got. We need to align this, of course. So we're going to go in here. We're going to move this back and focus on that nose pin there, if you will. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to vertex, drag select these guys at the end and these at the end. And we're going to start to bring that in towards the face. That'd be about right. I'll take these and these and we'll kind of follow that to get a similar shape. Let's push that out. That's better. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that's not bad. Uh, let's see what we can do next is we're going to right click go to edge. We're going to select one and two control E to extrude W to pull out. We'll hit G to repeat, W to pull out again. But this time we're going to hit R and we're going to pull that out to the side like so. And even pull that up. Let's pull this one down first. Let's go to vertex. Push that down. And then we'll take one, two, and three and push it up like this. All right? Now, um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see, I'll take the outer vertices, push them in so they kind of follow that flow. Kind of important. Let's do more than that. They need to go way in. And even more. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so we have that. Let's give this a little bit more decoration, if you will. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in and we're gonna select all of these faces, I would say. Okay, we're gonna uh, control E to extrude. Let's tweak the offset. Let's do 0 0.01. Maybe minus 0 0.01. It's not going to play ball. Uh, let's see. What am I missing here? Um, yeah, I know what I'm missing here. What we're going to do is we're going to not take all the faces. We're going to take these. And then we're going to hit the control E to extrude. And then we're going to tweak the offset to say about 0 0.2 would be about right. Okay. And then we're going to go in and we're going to double click on that outer face right there like that. 
We're going to hit Control E to extrude and W to move forward like this. Mm, let's see, it's a bit much, of course, but you get the idea. So let's bring that back. And let's see if we decide to smooth this out, you'll get this, which means that we need to tweak that a little bit, right? So we extrude that in the front. Uh, I do need to reinforce that shape though. So I'm gonna go into Edit Edge Loop, Option Box, Single Setting. Let's go in here and I'm gonna put one right there and right there that will hold that shape for sure. And then down here we have similar issues. So we'll do one here and one here and we'll do one up here. And we'll do one there and we'll do one there. We're gonna queue on a keyboard. Let's go in here. Let's hit three and see how that helps. And it does a lot, not to the extent that I want. So I'm gonna go back in and enter it as loop again. And where I want them is on these corners. So right up there. That should definitely help. Hope so anyway. Yeah, it's much better. Okay. So um, the only issue that I have though is down here. So maybe we can tweak that a little. And what I might wanna do here is go in. Just gonna take this face right here. Control E to extrude, W to push out. So if we hit three to smooth this guy out, it will look something like that, right? Okay, so I'm okay with that. Uh, let's go back into display and show all to get that next section back in. And then let's see, I want to tweak this a little bit. We're gonna go into mesh and smooth to actually smooth, subdivision level two. Let's go in here. And I'm gonna right click, go to vertex, drag, select these guys. Hit a B for soft select, hit W. And the impacted area is too big. So let's bring that way down. And I think that makes it look a little bit more aggressive, right? So there you have it. Okay, so yeah. Go to Mesh and Smooth, hit one, turn off B, there you go. All right, so that is uh, quite uh, the poly count, but it's working, so it's okay. And what I wanna do next is, or actually one of the final pieces I would say, is to put a bracket on a nose to hold this together, right? So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna take a uh, polygon cube and W, pull that out. Actually, let's pull it in this direction, makes more sense. Let's uh, scale that up, scale that out, flatten it. Then go in here, insert edge loop, option box, multiple five, I would say. And we'll put five there and five there. Okay, Q on keyboard. Let's go in here and let's have a look where he's at. Where is my cube? Oh, it's back there, yeah, obviously. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna bring that down here and we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale the whole thing in quite a bit. And then we're gonna hit W and we're gonna push that in. I have to frame that so we can start to see where we're at. Let's pull this up. And this whole guy needs to come forward, as you can see. And we'll take our little cube. Let's pull that out. All right. We're gonna raise that up a little bit. 
So let's hit W to move that up like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in to Vertex. This is going to be a bit tricky. So I got that. I'm going to hit R and I'm going to start to raise that up like so. And then I'm going to right click and go to Vertex again. Take the second row and the second row. Kind of push that up like this. I'm going to take the end row and the end row. Push that down like so. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to right click go to edge. And let's double click, shift, double click, and shift, double click. Let's push them in like this and take that one and that one and bring it in like this, right? Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now, I'm not quite there yet because this needs to curve somewhat. So we're going to go to deform, nonlinear and bend. Where's our bend handle at? We'll find out. We're just going to move. And as you can see, it's bending in the wrong direction. So we're going to hit E to rotate. And I think it's in this direction. And it is, yeah. Still not there yet. Then we're going to rotate it in this direction. Starting to get there. However, we need to make sure this is at minus 90. So now if we go in, that's the curvature we want, right? Okay, so let's see. It's pretty close. All right. So we have that, we're going to select that, we're going to go to edit, delete by type and history. So now we can go into the outliner, get that curve. And that's already gone, looks like, yeah, good, good. And we can go in here and hit three to preview smooth to give you an idea what that would look like. And we need to reinforce that shape a little bit and want to go back. Into the edge loop, let's set that to single. We'll put one in here and one in here. Come on. And just to get some detail here, we're going to queue on our keyboard. We're going to go into face and let's select. these hit control e to extrude w to push out and r to scale in a bit okay so um yeah uh, we need a few more straps just to hold things together and other than that we're done so i'm gonna borrow this guy right here we're gonna go in Object mode, we're going to go to mesh and uh, separate. So we can hit the control D to duplicate, W to move out, E to rotate. And you can see that the pivot's all over the place. So let's go to modify and set our pivot. Let's hit E to rotate this guy. Hold down J until it's level. Let's, let's go with 90. That would be good. Yeah. And we're going to hit the W, we're going to move that down. And let's see what we're going to do with this guy. Looks a bit wonky.
Let's hit Control D to duplicate. Let's hit W to pull that down. Like so. And then what we'll do is we'll select one and two. Control D to duplicate. And w to move over. E to rotate. Have to frame that. Let's E to rotate some more. We're going to scale that down a bit. We should be centered, but I'll just uh, check to make sure. Yeah, looks like we are. So I'm good. All right, and um, yeah, I think uh, this, well, one, for, one more thing we need, maybe, are the rivets. Maybe, maybe. So uh, let me just take a new one. We'll hit W, we'll move that down. Move that out. As before, hit Control A, open that up. Let's set that to eight by eight. Okay, let's uh, rotate it. So hit E, rotate, flip to 90 degrees. Let's get in here, go to face, cut half of it out. That's a little bit too much. All right, we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale it down quite a lot. W to move that in. And we're gonna move it in here. So after frame that, let's bring it out. W to push that in. Okay, so we're gonna go to Mesh and Smooth. Then I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate, W to move down. And I'll select the other one. Control D to duplicate, W to move over. After frame, E to rotate. Wise, they look okay. All right, guys, that concludes our helmet. So I'm just going to direct like all of this. We're going to go to mesh and combine. We're going to hit a W to move that up, like so. And I'm going to take it into uh, Keyshot and uh, put, I think, an ambient occlusion on it, or maybe even a texture. And then you guys can see in the thumbnail how it turned out, right? Well, thank you guys for your patience. Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you've got any questions, as always, let me know in the comments. And that said, thank you so much for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.